Soldier, aren't you? Cloud, was it? Former soldier turned problem solver. Are you okay, Miss Folia? You look upset. Uh, yeah, I am pretty upset. The kids are still off doing patrols, even though it's now time for their lessons. Not a single one of them has come back yet. Patrols? Is that a Leaf House thing? Something they do to help out? That's right. In return for the donations we receive, the kids go around town picking up litter, running errands, that kind of thing. I don't suppose you've seen any of them, have you? Oh. You see, I have some important plans this evening, and I really need to go and get ready. Would you like us to go round them up? Oh, that would be wonderful! There are five of them out on patrol right now. They all wear homemade swords on their backs, so they should be easy to spot. Because you get to be on TV again. Uh, anything else around here I could possibly use? Spices. It's not safe up there. Did you know this place is haunted? How goes the patrol? There's a lot more people on the streets than usual. Maybe because the reactor blew up? Well, you've been keeping a very sharp lookout. But don't you think you're forgetting something important? Oh, Miss Folia's lessons! I gotta get back to the house! something else you should be worrying about right now? I forgot about Miss Molia's lesson! I gotta head back to the house! I know. You're talking about Walmart, aren't you? Aerith, you're back! Come, look what we've done with the flowers! Lovely, don't you think? Great job. That's wonderful. <sighs> Isn't it? Oh, I nearly forgot. I saw some Shinra suit walking toward your house a little while ago. He was dressed all in black. A little scary looking. Oh, are these flowers from Aerith's place? Hey there, how goes the patrol? Great, I've been picking up garbage and giving people directions. Plus I helped an old lady cross the street. You've been busy. It's a normal day for me. Gotta work hard. The house depends on people's donations. Oh no, I'm late. Did you see Miss Folia? Is she mad? Oh, I gotta go. I'm sorry. You scared me! Hey there, how goes the patrol? I've been watching them really close. I'm trying to learn all about the business. 
You want to open up a shop of your own someday? Yeah, so I can earn lots of money and use it to help the house. The teachers don't like to talk about it, but we know the donations aren't enough to keep things running. Uh, but that's a secret, okay? I'm not supposed to tell anyone. Anyway, I gotta go study. Where are you going? Sir, it's a real honor to meet you. I think you soldier guys are awesome. I want to be strong and tough when I grow up, too. You sound very determined. These are dangerous times. A reactor blew up and a bunch of kids lost their friends and families. Who knows what might blow up next? I guess that means more children might be coming to the house soon. And I think the teachers are going to have a whole lot more work to do. Speaking of teachers, Miss Foley is looking for you. Oh, man, I completely forgot! I have to get back right now! That's everyone. Let's go back to the house. You mind taking a look? Just got in a big old chip in a bed! That's what's called easy money. I really like this fully. The children finally came back, thanks to you two. You've been a great help. Okay, everyone, come inside. It's time to hit the books. <sighs> you guys, the Toad King's back. I saw him near the hideout. We gotta do something about him. The Toad King? A weird, creepy monster we've seen near the hideout lately. He wears a crown and walks around like he owns the place. If he's not a king, he's gotta be monster royalty at least. I bet a soldier could beat him up easy. Oh yeah, real easy. But here's the thing, I don't work for free, or cheap. But we don't have any money! The Watch wouldn't ask for money. But if we ask any other grown-ups for help, they'll find out about the hideout, and that'll be it. We really don't want to lose the hideout. Come on, help us! Oh, and we'll give you some cool treasure if you do! And if that's not enough, I'll pay the rest of your fee once I open my shop. Well, if you won't help, then we'll just have to kill it ourselves! I'll do it for three gil. Huh? I'm offering a special discount right now on Toad King jobs. Looks like it's your lucky day. Awesome! Now that's my kind of bargain! I'm sorry we had to give you I such a dangerous job, the but there's really no one else we could have asked. You're our only hope! But I'm scared of the dog. Man. Hey, did you see the reactor fire? You won't stop telling us stories about that damn reactor. Try to stay behind me. That way I can cover your back. It's over. See you around.
You're dead. I've got this. Don't you mean we've got this? Here Get him! That's it! Was never in doubt. I'll protect you. I'm pretty good at protecting myself, you know. Go on! It's over. Not bad. No turning back. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> 
It's on now. Don't <laughs> I'm she probably heal up first. Just a little bit out. I'll take care of you. Take it over. <laughs> Gotta dig deep for this one. Let's finish this. One more shot! Let's go. Did you defeat the Toad King? Yep. Kicked his butt real good. Awesome! I knew you could do it! Now we don't have to worry about the King and his smelly friends. Thank you so much! Here, this is for you. The treasure we promised. It's definitely worth at least three gil. Okay, kids. Playtime's over for now. I've prepared a special assignment for everyone. One that I expect you to finish today. Understood? Uh, yes. Yes, Miss Folia. I appreciate you getting rid of the Toad King, by the way. Wow, Miss Folia. You must know all their secrets. Oh, if only. Easier said than done. They're always on the move, looking for new adventures, chasing new dreams. All while trying to make the lives of everyone around them just a little bit better. I try to make sure they don't stumble and fall. And when they finally do... I help them back up. Hmm. Sounds exhausting. <laughs> Sometimes it is. But I want the children to know that until they can stand on their own two feet, that I'm here to support them, care for them, love them. That even if we're not actually related, we're still a family. A real family, in all the ways that matter. If I can do that for them, then, well, then maybe I'm making this world a better place. I know you are. My predecessor taught me everything I know. I just took up his torch and ran with it, I guess. Uh, not that I'm anything close to what he was. Biggs is one of a kind. <gasps> oh no! I've completely lost track of time! Do you have somewhere you need to be? More like a dream I need to fulfill. Thank you again for your help. I wonder what kind of dream she's chasing tonight. No idea. Thanks again for saving our hideout from the king. In return, I let everyone know you guys can join the game as special guests. If you want to know more, then come to the hideout. Hello, Aerith. What do you want? Haven't seen him before. He your new boy toy? He's my bodyguard, if you must know. Wait a minute. Those eyes. Is he the one who beat up Reno? And what if I am? Need to cross my T's, dot my I's, that's all. Leave him be. Rude's not a bad person, really. No, I'm not bad. But like it or not, I sometimes have to do bad things. Uh. 
Don't take it personal. <laughs> you Turks are all the same. Huh? All bark, no bite. You're one to talk. No need to get rough. Get him! Give it up! 
How's that payback working out for you? Oh, better than expected. You're welcome. I thought you didn't want to get rough. No. Keep it together. But this is self-defense. That's enough out of you. I, I see you. Trying, but... I got this. Don't overdo it. So it's my turn? Tagging out! My turn. Here we go. I'll take care of them. Maybe this? 
You're mine! <laughs> Your turn. I got this. <laughs> Try this. Get him. No holding back. alone you know I can't do that <clears throat> hey there partner <clears throat> I'm sure you're having the time of your <clears throat> life but we're needed on standby <clears throat> for a job at something <clears throat> about sector 7 <clears throat> so get your ass back here now Understood. Got somewhere else to be? Apparently so. Go home and stay there. You know I can't do that. Huh? You're heading in already? Yeah, that's enough for one day. Where have you two been? Uh, I've been worried sick. Sorry, we got a little sidetracked. Dinner's ready, in case you're wondering. Ah, great. But before we sit down, I want you to make up the guest room. Gotcha. Take a load off, okay? Judging by those eyes, I'm guessing you're a soldier. Ex-soldier. I hate to ask. But would you leave tonight without any fuss, no questions? You boys made a trade, a normal life, for power. You can't have it both ways. I'm back! Good! Now, I hope you're hungry. Starving, right? I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl. I could keep you on the straight and narrow and tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. <sighs> hmm. Don't want to overstay my welcome.
What are you doing? Uh, uh, nothing. Did you have a bad dream? Don't worry, you'll feel much better in the morning. And I promise to take you straight home. Uh, okay. Please don't let her hear me again. You jerk! I thought I told you not to leave your room. Now get back in there. Okay. You're leaving? So, how do I get to Sector 7? It's simple enough. Just cut through Sector 6. It isn't exactly safe, but you should be okay, seeing as you're a soldier. Was one. Promise me, you'll never talk to Aerith again. Please. You got it. Thank you. If it isn't the new florist. I appreciate you helping the kids out today. Thank you. They won't stop talking about the soldier who saved the day. Oh, and make sure to give my thanks to Aerith, too. Sure. about a coincidence what are you doing here waiting why because I'm not sick of you yet oh. <laughs> lead on then with pleasure <laughs> Something wrong? It's nothing. <sighs> you can see the sky. They're still working on the new plate. I don't like this part of Midgar. Back when they were still building Midgar, there was an accident and the plate fell. People had only just started moving in, so there weren't a lot living there at the time, but...
And that's? The underside of Sector 6, Wall Market. A real special place. But I'm sure you already knew that, right? I didn't tell you? I enlisted pretty much right after I left home. Don't know much about this place, or any of the slums. Well, it took a lot of people to build Midgar, and they all needed to blow off steam. So some traders built an entertainment district. Inns, shops, bars, the works. Folks started pouring in from all over. Business was booming, money was flowing, which attracted the attention of some guys who didn't much care for the law. And now there isn't any. Right. But instead of trying to solve the problem, the government decided to just wall it in. And that's how Wall Market began. Out of sight, out of mind, as the old saying goes. For the folks in charge, there's no better way to deal with it. So it's like a giant veil. Yeah. Wanna see what's behind it? Not really. That's good. Because I know a better way to get to Sector 7. One that, tragically, doesn't go through Wall Market. And it's just through this tunnel here. At least it was, back when I was a kid. this, you know, ever since the plate fell. And there's no other way? It'll be an adventure. All right. I'll take care of him. Go on! Don't you think? Uh... Oh, great. Someone's pulled up the ladder. <sighs> I wonder if we can use this. Give me a ride. You serious? Absolutely. I'll throw down the ladder for you to climb up after.
Give me a sec. And here comes the ladder. Well, what did I tell ya? You did it. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Hmm? All right, good enough. Let's keep on trucking. Mm. Stop. Did we wake it up? Someone blocked it off because of all the monsters that kept showing up. Pretty dangerous place for kids to play. Raised in the slums, remember? You're tough. Hmm, that's supposed to be a compliment. Leave this to me. I don't think so. Get him! Deal with that. What the? Here he comes! I'm waiting. That's it! Bring it! This might be it. Everything's spinning. That it? Can you take over for me? I got me? this. Need a light. <laughs> Keep it together. Kind of hurt. Chili? Sorry, but Let's do you this. Mean it. All right. Oh. 
calling fire. Looks like a dead end. Okay then. Get him. Let's do this. Try this. Here we go. Going in. I bet you can grab that container with the arm.
half bad. So do you moonlight as a crane operator or something? <sighs> yeah? So tough. Lucky for me, you'll make this easier. Yes, ma'am. Well then, I'm gonna head down. Okay, Cloud! Ready! Gotcha. Not too fast, okay? Got it. Anybody around? Guess it's just us. Mm. It's still warm. Should we relight it? Have our own campfire? I need to get back. Besides... Looky here, boys! Caught us some burglars! Coming into our homes and stealing our shit! Doing crimes! <laughs> I'd say we're owed compensatory damages. <laughs> Cap a minute, a composite. I don't get it. Ah, how stupid can you be? It's crazy simple. <laughs> compensatory damages is like, uh, it's like 
Uh -huh. Compensation for damages. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's what you get when you no, when somebody else. We uh, haven't done anything wrong. Yeah, we were just passing through. Oh, a likely story. <laughs> okay, what do you want? Nothing but our due recompense, that's all. <laughs> due recompense, due recompense, due... Do recompense? Uh -huh. No shit for brains, due recompense. It's like, uh, uh -huh. it's like, uh, uh -huh. Compensatory damages! Uh -huh. Of course, so I do that. recompense, I got it. <laughs> <Simple as that. laughs> I think we've heard enough. No holding back. All right. I'll show you what I can do. One more shot. Get him. Why don't you lead the way? Okay, guys, whatever you do, don't move. Don't walk. Don't walk. I'm dead. I'm super dead. Don't leave me, I'm coming! Random question, but why did you quit being a soldier? That is random. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Uh. Um, did you have any soldier friends? Any war buddies? No. Not really. Oh, okay. We got here. Fresh meat that's no one. I'm coming. Get him. That's it. I'll take care of you. Oh, bless her. Stay back.
Any last words? One more shot! Be around. Stupid ladders, always out of reach. Okay, Cloud, heading down. You're in charge of the arm, got it?
down for you in a sec. Sure did. Uh. Huh? Wait a minute. Did you just... Nope. Don't worry. We'll be on the same page next time. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, okay? The gate to Sector 7. Looks shut. How do we open it? More importantly, how about we take a break? Sound good? No. I don't have time Up for... there looks nice. <sighs> Come on! Time ago, I used to sell flowers here. Oh, yeah? <sighs> so, Cloud, you were a soldier first class, right? Yeah. Weird. Really? What's weird about it? Nothing. Just that you were the same rank. Huh? As who? The first guy I ever loved. <sighs> What's his name? I probably know him. Because of the Mako. All soldiers have them. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I'm bumming you out. We should go. <sighs> Gotta look forward, not back.
here. Hmm? This won't take long. <sighs> Ready! <sighs> Wanna get to Sector 7 in style? This is the passageway for you. So... <laughs> Go ahead. You gonna be okay getting home? And if I said I wasn't? I'll go with you. I thought you needed to get back. <laughs> Don't worry. I have a backup route for emergencies. And it's safer, too. Guess this is it then. Ready? Yeah. lost you. What's going on? Shh. I'll explain everything later. But now I'm on my way to see Don Corneo. You should head back to Seventh Heaven, meet up with the gang. But... I'll be fine. You've seen how much ass I can kick? I have. <laughs> yeah! No, you don't. You're going after her. She's a big girl. She can handle the likes of him. And worse. Uh-uh. You don't know, Corneo. It doesn't matter how strong or smart you think you are. He'll find a way to turn it against you. And where is she going to meet him? A mansion filled with his goons. Come on. Aren't you worried what might happen in there? You have to help her. <sighs> Okay. Come on, Cloud. We gotta hurry. to a girl earlier. Do you have any idea where she went? No, and if you don't need a ride, then get the hell out of here. Can't you see I'm trying to work? Can't say I can, no. What'd you say to me, you little... What's all the rubbish out here? Hmm. I don't know you. What's your story? We're looking for a girl who took one of your carriages. Can you help us find her? Depends. What do you want with this girl here? Guess. We want to save... Save her from a life without this handsome guy. Huh? So, that's how it is, huh? Well, I get a lot of customers. Hard to keep track of them all. This girl, what's she look like? Well... She's great at handling the books. Cloud, I really don't think that'll help. Wait a minute. You talking about Tifa? That's her. <laughs> oh, looks like someone's got a bit of a crush. Hate to break your heart, kid, but it's gonna be a long while before she sees the light of day again. What do you mean? 
She's a real pretty girl. Corneo's hosting another audition, and Tifa was chosen as a candidate. An audition for what? For the title of the next Mrs. Corneo. She's what he likes all rolled into one sweet package. Having scouted girls for so long, I know his taste better than my own. And considering those tastes, I can guarantee you this. She won't be walking out of that mansion anytime soon. If at all. So where can we find this Don Corneo? <laughs> what are you asking for? Thinking of raising holy hell or something? Do what you gotta, but leave me out of it. I told you what you want to know. Now take a walk. Uh, and there goes our best lead yet. <sighs> Maybe we'll have better luck in town. Let's check it out. Welcome to Wall Market, the pleasure capital of Midgar that's got everything for everybody. Couple, huh? It's all good. Play together, do your own thing, earn a little scratch on the side even. Whatever you're into, we got you. Got a special one-time limited offer. No, thank you. Come on, Cloud. Let's go. The sweet embrace of pretty ladies. Oh, that's what I miss. I got a place you're gonna love. I've done it again. I just spent my whole time. Come on, old man. This is it. Oh, to enter or not to enter, that is the question. Wherefore does this philosophical quandary torment me? You totally get where I'm coming from, right? Yeah, I should have figured. You're not the philosophical introspective type like me. That soft, naive face. I know you're kind well, bro. You're just another musclehead who uses violence to work through your inner demons. It's sad, really. Huh? Yeah, what's up? Seen Tifa around? Tifa? My love? My light? Who are you and how do you know her? No, shut up. I don't care. Tifa's here? Why? Tell me why! Oh, God, no. I did this to her, didn't I? She kept looking for me to beg me not to leave her! <gasps> Snap out of it, Johnny! Your Tifa needs you! Tifa, I'm coming, baby! Who was that? Nobody you want or need to know. Hey! You hear of that real narrow street just over there? You're not still wasting your gill at the Honeybee Inn, are you? <laughs> you bet I am! Found me a secret route in, one nobody don't know about. Only trouble is, it's filled with drunks and garbage. Are you sure about this man? Come on, give it to me, please. That guy over there, he, uh, he doing all right, you think? He's fine, just drunk. Like the rest of them. Am I right? Uh, that scent. I can't stand it. Thank you an hour. No fooling. Mm. Nothing gets the blood. 
<laughs> Check it out. Uh... I think we might have found our man. And he's a gaudy one. Yeah. <laughs>